An alarming study is suggesting the largest health care chain in the country with more than 170 hospitals in 19 states is prioritizing profits at the expense of patient care. NBC's Cynthia McFadden explains why more nurses are looking to get out of the industry. Tonight, HCA Healthcare is facing accusations that it's making billions while slashing staffing to dangerously low levels. HCA is constantly putting profits over patients. North Carolina State Treasurer and Dale Falwell the is the largest purchaser of health care in his state, insuring 750,000 current and retired employees. You have called HCA a virus. You've said that they're a cartel. What's your evidence? Well, the evidence is very simple. You're hearing horror stories about quality. In Asheville, North Carolina, HCA bought Mission Hospital four years ago. We spoke with a dozen current and former Mission employees who all say under HCA, patient care has suffered, so much so that seasoned nurses like Kelly Tyler and Sue Fisher joined a union. Have you ever witnessed patient care being jeopardized by short staffing? Yes, yes. According to federal data collected from Medicare, full-time staff was reduced by 37 percent since HCA took over. Instead of three or four patients, we were then taking six, seven, eight patients. And every time you add a patient, you each patient suffers. Did you feel like you were putting your license at risk? Every single day. I still do. Kelly says she became so alarmed that after 37 years, last April, she quit. Sue, a 17-year veteran at Mission, says she's seen an increase in code blues, critical emergencies. Today, the nation's largest union of health care workers issued a scathing report. The union claims that HCA is pumping up profits by intentionally short-staffing hospitals, resulting in poor quality of care and even death. The report shows HCA's overall staffing levels, not just nurses, were below averages at other hospitals in 19 of the 20 states where they operated back in 2020. But a federal rating system does give them four out of five stars for medical care, though they received well below the national average in other categories since HCA took over. It's more than a job. Jody Obviously, Becker is HCA's is VP of Quality for North Carolina. External data seems to point to the fact that Mission is not staffing at a level that others consider to be safe. I can't comment on specific staffing ratios, Cynthia. We've invested millions to make sure that our staffing is appropriate. HCA told NBC News that they dispute the government staffing data and have never reduced the number of bedside roles, though they declined to provide specific nurse-to-patient ratios. But the union says these forms filed by its nurses at Mission point to significant problems, like waiting in stool and urine with bed sores forming. I can't comment on the forms because I have not seen any of them, but I can tell you that we have a very robust process for escalating care concerns. Would you like to see them? I don't have any desire to see the forms. The disconnect for me is having spoken now to a number of nurses who clearly do care. Their level of upset is so palpable. Are they lying about their experience? I would be hesitant to say anyone is lying. I think the truth is part in the middle, and it is perception. HCA accuses the union of cherry-picking data and says its staffing is safe, appropriate, and in line with other community hospitals.